Active minds. Ollie goes the distance. Ollie has always known that he is not like the other cars in town. They are loud and fast. They use gasoline for fuel. But Ollie is an electric car. He doesn't need gas. And he is very, very quiet. Hi, guys. Maybe I'm too quiet. Ollie's parents say that he should be proud to be an electric car. Many cars in town go for long drives in the country. Ollie wants to go too. But the gas-powered cars go so fast. What if he can't keep up? What if he has to rush home to charge his battery? Time to go home, Ollie. My battery is running low. One day, Ollie stops at a traffic light. Next to him is a car that he's seen at his driving school. I didn't even hear you coming, she says. Your engine is so quiet. Actually, I don't have an engine, says Ollie. I have an electric motor. Whoa, that's so cool, the car says. I'm Lexi, by the way. Lexi invites Ollie to go for a drive with her friends. Ollie is excited and a little nervous. He practices introducing himself to Lexi's friends. Hello, my name is Ollie. No, no, too formal. Hi, guys. A bit much. Hey, I'm Ollie. Yes, much better. The day of the drive, Ollie carefully polishes his tires. He makes sure that his battery is charged. He doesn't want to run out of power in the middle of nowhere. Lexi and her friends meet at the edge of town. Ollie takes a deep breath and drives over to meet them. Hey, I'm Ollie. Hi, Ollie. Lexi said you're electric. I'm a hybrid. Let's drive, says Lexi. At first, Ollie's pedals feel a bit shaky, but he keeps going. He's surprised to see how easy it is to keep up. He keeps a close eye on his battery, just in case. Soon, Ollie's new friends need to stop at a gas station. You're fast, and you put out less pollution? Amazing! After a quick plug-in, Ollie's battery is fully charged. It takes a little longer than filling a tank with gas, but his new friends don't mind. Soon, he is ready to get back on the road. There is a whole wide world to explore. Ollie knows that he is different. And that's great. He's proud to be an electric car. New words from Ollie goes the distance. Battery. A source of electric power. Electric cars use battery packs to power their electric motors. Their batteries are rechargeable. Charge. The amount of energy stored by a battery. Starting a drive with a charged battery is a good idea. When an electric car's battery is low, it can be plugged in and recharged. Electric. Operated by electricity. Electricity is the flow of electrical power. Electric cars use electric motors to move, instead of traditional combustion engines. Engine. A machine that turns energy into movement. Engines provide power and make a car's wheels move. Fuel a material that is burned to produce heat or power. All electric cars do not use fuel. Gasoline. Fuel for a gasoline-powered car. Electric cars don't need gasoline to run. Hybrid. A mixture of two things. Hybrid cars have electric motors and gasoline-powered engines. Pollution. The introduction of harmful or poisonous things into the air. Cars burn gasoline, which pollutes the air. Electric cars don't use gasoline, but the electricity used to charge their batteries can also create pollution. Now learn fun facts about electric cars. Active Minds – All About Electric Cars Fully Charged – Fun Facts About Battery-Powered Vehicles
It's electric. An electric car is a car that is powered by electricity. Most cars use gasoline as fuel. Burning gasoline puts out a gas called carbon dioxide, CO2. CO2 is a greenhouse gas that helps warm our planet. Higher amounts of CO2 in the air can trap too much heat close to Earth, however. This kind of warming is called climate change. It's causing big problems. Gas-powered cars use electricity to start their engines. Electricity also powers the car's radio, windows, and other accessories. But electric cars are fully powered by electricity. They don't use gasoline. This means that they don't put out CO2. I'm a clean, green, battery-powered machine. Fun fact. Want to help reduce greenhouse gas? Plant a tree. Your new tree will help remove carbon dioxide from the air. A long journey. Electric cars have been around for a long time. Some of the very first cars ran on electricity. 1830s to 1880s. The first electric vehicles are built. Most are slow. The batteries can't be recharged. 1891. The first successful electric car is sold in the United States. It has a top speed of 14 miles, 23 kilometers per hour. 1900. One third of all cars in the United States run on electricity. There are even electric taxis in New York City. 1908 to 1935. Gasoline powered cars get better and cheaper. Electric cars become less popular. By 1935, electric cars are almost forgotten. 1973. Gasoline prices go up in the United States. People become interested in electric cars again. The Vanguard Sebring City Car can drive more than 40 miles, 64 kilometers, on one charge. 1990. General Motors' all-electric EV1 is full of new technology that is still used today. 2006. Tesla Motors shows off the new Tesla Roadster. It is an electric sports car. It can go more than 200 miles, 322 kilometers, on one charge. 2022. Hundreds of new companies work to make the next best electric car. Check out my family's history. Under the hood. Brakes. Battery pack. Electric motor. Charging station. Charge port. Connector. Fun fact. Up to one-fourth of an electric car's weight is in the battery. Battery pack. The heavy battery pack is in the floor of the car. It sits under the seats. A battery stores energy. Most electric cars use lithium-ion batteries. Brakes. When the driver stops the car or slows down, the energy from the car is collected. Then that energy is sent back to the battery. This helps recharge the battery during the drive. Charging station. Charging stations send electricity to the battery. It can take from 30 minutes to several hours to charge the battery pack. Electric motor. The electric motor sits between the wheels. The motor uses powerful magnets and electricity from the battery pack. The motor makes the wheels spin. Fun fact. Lithium-ion batteries are the same kind of batteries that most cell phones use. Power to the world. Electric cars are usually better for Earth. But where that electricity comes from is very important. Some ways of making electricity can be harmful to the planet. Alternative energy sources. There are many other ways of creating electricity that are better for the Earth than fossil fuels. Wind. Huge machines called turbines collect wind energy. When the wind blows, the machines spin. The spinning makes electricity. Water. Fast-moving river water has a lot of energy. Dams control a river's flow. Turbines in the dam collect the water's energy. Sun. 
Electricity made from sunlight is called solar power. The panels store the sun's energy. Then the energy is turned into electricity. We use it for light and heat. So that's where electricity comes from. Fossil fuels. Most electricity is made by burning fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are made from plants and animals from long ago. Coal and gas are two kinds of fossil fuels. Burning them creates greenhouse gases. The road ahead. Here are some of the reasons that electric cars are so amazing. Eco-friendly. Electric cars cut down on fossil fuels. Sometimes the electricity is made from alternative energy sources. Lightning fast. Some of the speediest cars in the world run on electricity. In the right conditions, the Tesla Model S Plaid can go from 0 to 60 miles, 96.5 kilometers per hour, in just 1.99 seconds. A regular car takes 4 to 9 seconds to reach that speed. Quiet as a mouse. Electric motors are nearly silent. Money saving. Electric cars don't need gasoline. They also have fewer moving parts to fix later. Supercharged. In 2011, the longest range electric car could go 94 miles, 151 kilometers on one charge. By 2021, one charge could last 405 miles, 652 kilometers. Follow me. Fun fact. Some electric cars can hold as much electricity as 20,000 AA batteries. Eco-Friends Electric cars aren't the only cars that use alternative energy. Other cars use electricity in different ways. Hybrids Hybrid cars have both a gasoline engine and an electric motor. Most hybrids use electricity at slow speeds. When the car goes faster, it switches to gasoline. Fuel cell electric vehicles. These new cars are fully electric. The electricity is created by a fuel cell inside the car. The fuel cell runs on hydrogen. Hydrogen is the most common element in the universe. Instead of CO2, these cars put out water vapor and heat. Plug-in hybrids. Like electric cars, these cars plug into wall sockets or other electrical outlets. The gas engine takes over if the battery runs out. Driving these cars can help slow down global climate change. Let's all work together to help the Earth. The End